but, but I had this trick in football when I wasn't playing. It turns out if you really hustle on in warmups, you get your uniform all fucking dirty. Yeah, mud all over you and shit. About third quarter, third quarter, you, 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 you drop that rain jacket and you walk around all pissed off. <laughs> called working the crowd a little bit you're working the crowd and chick's like man and then they talk to you later like you were really upset in the third quarter because yeah, I, like, I, I didn't tell them this because i wasn't getting into the f- game and they- That we won't hold up. That won't hold up in court, Shaley. So you saying that a good lawyer will get us out of that. Yeah, yeah. You're fucked. Luckily, none of us can afford a good lawyer. The only yeah. I well Jay Kir- <laughs> Jay Kirshner, my uh, only go to attorney's in uh, in the swamp there. And he's uh he's in a, he's he's probably in his uh, he's probably in the threat zone. Uh, <laughs> age wise for sure, right? So I don't know if I currently have an attorney. <laughs> Nobody currently has an attorney. They're yeah. all home. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, uh, Erickson, uh, we did the podcast uh, midweek for our recording yeah. week. Uh, that went out on Wednesday? No. Tuesday, I think. Tuesday? Tuesday? Yes. Yeah. Yesterday, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yesterday. No. Yeah. See, time doesn't matter. And it's like, yeah, doesn't that matter. was Tuesday. Yeah. Well, we were trying to. I was trying to suspend the fact that but this goes out on Friday, so I was trying to go Tuesday, Wednesday without, oh, what's, without saying yet today or whatever. It's it's tricky to go. What when did we start time? When they declared the national emergency, or when we were aware of it? <laughs> like it's a it's a four four or five day gap there. Well, hey, I didn't so- know. I, I didn't know until the last podcast when Erickson cheers to everybody and said, uh, welcome to day four. I didn't know we were all supposed to be on the same schedule. I had heard, I had been uh, out of the loop. I'm a little more in the loop now because I have travel <laughs> plans, which I would like to discuss immediately with you fellas. Here's my big fear now. I'll go to California and I won't be able to get home. Yeah. Uh, I second that motion. Because I have to cross three state lines to get home if I go to L.A. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, kind of. It kind of feels like a real Snake uh, Prescott move. Uh, was that his name? Uh, <laughs> snake what, what, like, like Snake like Wilson. We, yeah, you like, we, of, like, yeah, like we're going into Bliskin. You're a major snake city. Bliskin? Yeah, we're going into a major city that we should be avoiding. <laughs> Uh, 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 we're rolling in the only other people on my flight are national guard troops so i'm like i don't know if this is a good idea yeah it was like when i was up in the fire zone up in the uh, wine country and i was uh, sitting at the bar and it was just me and firefighters like i guess i'm gonna head out of here i don't see a need uh yeah we got the uh we you know let's uh, uh listen to let's listen to president trump he's saying you know <laughs> I think he's saying, "Stay where you are." You know. Uh, you, so let me write don't this ho- down. Cancel don't, trip. Yeah, don't hoard food. You've got plenty. <laughs> <laughs> you don't worry about money. It's fine. Oh. Uh, yeah. I, 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 everything's so unpredictable. I still think everything will be all right, but I think it's going to be no, crazy I, for a while. And uh, yeah, uh, you, we have to cancel the everybody coming here. That's not going to happen because they could shut. LA down at any point. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. My biggest fear yeah. is martial law. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When martial law kicks in, I really want to be here. Right. Uh, yeah. 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 Like, I, I, kinda, here. I heard that I heard they're canceling white man privilege cards if you're not at your own home. <laughs> uh, it's getting that bad. Like, you know, you go, wait, excuse me, officer. I'm a white guy and I'm just going about my business in my country. Well, martial law, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so you can't keep me in California. All my guns and ammunition are in Arizona. Let me go right now. Right. Yeah. Kind of the imagine, final. Dis- imagine I'm holding a big gun. Yeah. Kind of my final decision was made listening to those kids on the beach in Clearwater. 
<laughs> you know, man, I ain't going to cancel my plans to go into L.A. just because there's some hop head with a cold. <laughs> you know? I, I didn't I see that. About it. Was that a video or something? Well, maybe? Just, just the kids they were interviewing. Uh, I saw interviews with them, like, you know, all, all fucking, you know, shirtless, like Mishka or wash tub abs. And like, man, I ain't going to, you know, my folks can't afford for me to cancel $2,000. Oh, oh, the part you left out was uh, spring break. Yeah, the spring breakers okay, are going about it. their business. Got it. You know, yeah, sorry. Ooh, I'm, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. You don't even know if you've got this stuff till about day three. So, you know, I'm sorry if I'm a little off. So you're still uh, hopeful? I, my wife keeps sending me to the store for things I forgot. I think, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know passive aggressive is one thing, but, you know, hey, oh, you, know, oh, you, did, you didn't get the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> she only wants you to reach the kingdom of Jehovah uh-huh. quickly. It's well, that, that's interest. why that's why I'm out here is there was a uh, not a, a meeting, but there she's basically doing uh, the same kind of a thing. Uh, Yelp or uh, uh, whatever we call this shit. Uh, she's got a. Did you have to rent your own Airbnb? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, it, I, I'm, I'm the cleaning staff. <laughs> Be leery of the guy who hangs out in the hallway if you run into him in the middle of the night. Just night. Head down people, and keep moving. People have a misconception about cleaning staff. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I, I don't really need a tip. I, I spend most of my time sitting on my ass vodcasting. <laughs> <laughs> Looking under the bed for pills. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, I know exactly. Here's what I'm worried about is because is uh, they you get the fever. And then it head, heads right into the respiratory. So I've got a couple of chunks of really good weed that I'm waiting uh, after the fever, before the respiratory. And I got that a couple of a hit, and, a hit and a half of LSD. And I don't want to sit on it too long. I mean, you know. Like, Who do you I, think you're going to get this from, Andy, since you're so <laughs> sure that you're going to get it? Are you having Chinese uh, visitors? Stay at the Airbnb or something we don't know about? Racist. <laughs> Most all the people who have it have been in China or across somewhere else, right? He does run an Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't He's bringing I don't go... Chinese women in for birth tur- tourism. Yeah. Yeah. Those are American citizens once they're born there. Well, hey, guys, just, hey, guys, I, I, just, I don't think everybody's taking this shit seriously. <laughs> Man, yeah. timing is everything, right? <laughs> wow, that's what you—that's that's what you get last on the shelves is fucking, fucking not well, we funny. Post. Yeah. Not funny, Albertsons. That probably wasn't even the original cork. Someone's already been into that and recorked it back Half up. <laughs> hey, I don't have much experience with uh, with L- the LSD. But uh, do you want to be taking that uh, when you have a cold and like mm. hacking up stuff and maybe having a no, I mean, respiratory I'm just saying, situation? I'm just saying if you catch it and it's, you know, it could be fatal or it makes you really ill and shit. I, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, oh, he died and he left an eight ball or whatever, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't just, you don't want to seem wasteful? I don't understand. Yeah. yeah. I want to leave zero zero drugs behind me. Like you know, when you go through the you don't you litter spend, in the park. You want to spend down to zero? Yeah. Who wants right. to die penniless? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be on my deathbed scrambling for that last Xanax, you know. <laughs> you don't have anybody to leave your LSD to? No, I'm afraid it would just get tossed. Good times, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought it was tough to get into LA last time because of the snowstorm, but uh, uh <laughs> yeah, we we'll definitely cancel LA. the we'll definitely cancel the uh, the get together because that would be the ultimate irony if we all died. If this podcast, the original stay at home and video yourself podcast, ends up dying because we all got together, got the sickness. That's too ironic of a way to well, go out. But, but that would give all the other vodcasts that just started a, a chance to go, oh, shit, we've got about 30 episodes before we show symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> to me, the irony that we were are getting together during the fucking time of separation was funny. I liked that. But 
now I'm afraid that I won't be able to get back yeah. home. But so on some that, level, aren't we doing this I'm for exposure? Get sick. I'll kiss you all <laughs> up the fucking mouth whenever I see you. I don't care. Yeah. But. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm afraid. Well, and also, I mean, you know, they're running out of groceries in L.A. Erickson, if you yeah. want to come do a vodcast out here in Oregon <laughs> from this deck and have some Free. vegan vegan snacks. Bring a dozen eggs. Uh, well, yeah. you've got an Airbnb bring, open. Bring, bring, it, bring some uh, some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, not drinking, <laughs> just rubbing alcohol. For my pipes are right here. Ooh, oh, oh, and you're not even oh, a weed you got smoker. The good shit. I know it's like you know he it's like he's sitting on all that money and he doesn't know what to do with it. Well, one of the uh, I'll tell you <laughs> what, guys, and the, that's I'll, clear I'll gold. This mm-hmm. is uh, this is ninety nine percent. It's not that seventy shit you get over at the Walgreens or the CSV. Dollars, general, or yeah. or, as, or as Stanhope will be calling it in a few years is uh, vodka. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Tracy looked it up because uh, there's people have gone into such panic buying. Uh, we don't have any uh, hand sanitizer, so Tracy looked it up. You get some uh, 99% uh, isopropyl, and uh, you can use either aloe vera gel or what I'm using, tresemme hair gel. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm having real trouble it's finding too- blowing bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think everybody already figured that out because isopropyl alcohol is one of the things that is gone. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm over but here see, trying to. I was trying to clean my pipe with vodka the other day. Ghost Ride uh, <laughs> uses a, a lot of alcohol uh, in uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol in uh, making molds. I bet. So uh, my bag was a little heavy leaving work last night. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Things have gotten bad. You're stealing from your brother. <laughs> Alcohol. Oh, just, uh, it's not even you got it. Believe me, when I hear Larry's True inspired, world. I'm going to go uh, right down there and get all the uh, all the inventory. Well, <laughs> all the glass uh, artwork. Yeah, yeah. Larry, Larry's going to be in the first. I mean, if uh, if uh, there's a, a hint of coronavirus around Larry, he's gonna he's gonna get it. <laughs> and and, and I. I, I I don't think Larry knows where most of his drugs are. I had uh, uh, <laughs> I I never go to the store, so because so I'm lucky. I've been not I oh. you know not in a problem for a long time. But Jenny goes to the store every day because she gets coffee every day at Starbucks. Uh-huh. So she's been going to the store. She watched this evolution. She's telling me all about it. She's like, "Oh my God!" First it was only toilet paper. Then it's, I told her, I said, it'll it'll spread out to more things. And then sure enough, they spread out. Now they're uh, only they're limiting almost everything one per person. They're rationing everything yeah, out yeah. at the store. Yesterday, she went in and uh, actually witnessed a fight because somebody was <laughs> unloading a truck with toilet paper and people started fighting. So they put all the toilet paper back <clears throat> on the truck, closed it up, told everybody to leave. Oh, shit. Stop fucking unloading the truck. <laughs> You're all shit, shit out of luck. She did have the... <laughs> so she's been watching this evolve, and she did have the presence of mind the other day to say, uh, hey, you know, the one thing they're not rationing and still has full shelves is alcohol. And I was, like, fucking fishing all the it. fucking cash I could out of my pocket. So I got, like, four... Uh, handles of uh, vodka and then another regular small big bottle. That's not yeah. really hoarding though. That's no, kind no, of like, that's, yeah, that's Tuesday. That's a, yeah, that's Tuesday, yeah. I go through it a lot. <laughs> Eventually, people are going to be overrunning hoarders' houses, like, just <laughs> looking for shit. It'll be the new Fred Myers. <laughs> Hey, man, you can't just come over to my hoard and show up, man. Yeah. I've been <laughs> hoarding a lamp, a broken gonna... lamp, yeah. a little doohickey at the end of the broken yeah. lamp. Oh. These little newspapers will work for toilet paper for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a good point you bring up because we uh, we were talking about that last time uh, on the other po- last podcast. And uh, I went and did a little research. Uh, toilet paper's only been around for about 100 years. Yeah. <laughs> man, man's been around a lot longer. There's been yeah. plenty of other items so to actually run out and hoard, well, to get in a fist fight in a parking lot would seem ridiculous, wouldn't it? If you realize that this has been an invention that has only been around for 100 years and no one wanted to use it. There's, the thing there's... is, 
the thing is that the, the fucking ridiculous part, Shaylee, is they can't figure that out. They can't figure out that if you just buy the same amount of toilet paper you always do, the store will just keep getting it in. <laughs> right. Everybody will be just fine like we always have been, you stupid they motherfuckers. Figured this, they figured this supply thing out a long time ago. <laughs> and who... Uh... I, Maybe some people go to the store each day to get fresh ingredients to make their food. I don't understand how everybody does things, but I would like to think that people don't have two days worth of toilet paper in their home. Yeah. Everybody yeah. has another roll of toilet paper. They don't you know what two we're... days worth of toilet paper at the store. Everything <laughs> is at least four rolls. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what's what's missing on the shelves is is that, and uh, and then uh, Kleenex. Uh, you know, it's like you have enough of those probably, uh, unless you have a cold. But you're going, I I I don't have a cold, but I know I'm going to get one, and it's going to be a doozy. And I'm going to need <laughs> more Kleenex. than the. I'm going to need five times the normal amount I need for Kleenex. Uh, <laughs> you know, just in. You know, this is going to be Wait. a drippy motherfucker. You know, it would be a really uh, uh, brave act of uh, of uh, vandalism and rebellion is toilet papering someone's house right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they want to piss somebody off. <laughs> like, what are you? No, <laughs> in the new hey, in the new world order, that's a, that's a that's someone's birthday celebration. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, they're out there whistling. Oh, thank you. Oh, think, oh, think, heaven. Think about all those uh, all, all those people eventually walking around Auburn, Alabama with dirty asses going, man, I wish Alabama would have beat us this year. We threw all our toilet paper up in them fucking trees, and now we got nothing but dirty asses. They throw the game. Yeah. Yeah, they throw away thousands Son, of rolls of toilet paper. In the community. Yeah, yeah. You, you got, you got yeah, no they won't. This one. They'll throw money next time because uh, the toilet paper will be far too valuable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, I, 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 what Chad's talking about is the in interesting thing is I've, I've noticed it too. Like, you know, the evolution of pa a panic buying, it, it was just stocking up and people had kind of a good, mm -hmm. good attitude. And then the more they listen to the news and the more frightened they get, nothing's really changed. It's still sunny. Yeah. The stairs still clean. <laughs> right. The virus really isn't here. Uh, it, but everybody's starting to get a little edgier. It's every time Trump talks. Everyone yeah. gets a little more nervous. To be fair, that he's happened before. To be, that happened before, to, Erickson. Yeah, I understand. But he's supposed to be calming. <laughs> it's supposed to be yeah. reassuring. And every time it has the opposite effect. Yeah. I would agree with that. And, it's, and the, it, the water's been muddied to the point where you don't know what's fucking true or what's bullshit anymore. And you're just like, I don't know. I, yeah. I'm not, gonna, I'm not believing shit till I fucking get a cough that I can't get rid of. It, it sucks because the most drug-addled, coked-up uh, fiend at the party is the one who's driving and owns the condo. <laughs> <laughs> and if we, if we don't like it, we can just fucking, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, uh, all right, this guy's making pretty good sense. Wait, he said the opposite yesterday, though. Well, no, he said... But he's arguing with himself. Don't you see the yeah. subplots? It's like a sometimes a great notion. There's several different viewpoints here. Okay. Wow. Wow, a Ken Kesey fucking reference. <laughs> I told you I got LSD around. <laughs> Is that what the book's made of? <laughs> it's in there somewhere. Yeah, just but it's the multiple narratives. Like the CDC, you know, it's like uh, nothing to worry about. Oh, there's a lot to worry about. Well, no, nah, not if you're listening. To, well, well if you're going to listen to that. <laughs> well, it's it's beautiful in its own sadly comic way when Trump yeah. speaks. He like gets up there and he says, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. We've got an airtight lid on this thing. It's not going to happen. Yeah, everything's fine. It's cool. And then he introduces a doctor who gets up there and says, actually, what he said is completely yeah. wrong. <laughs> and this is what's actually happening. And, you know, it's like he has to have the the, the facts behind him speak after he's done. It's fucking it, ridiculous. It's, uh, it's that Devo line. The next thing I tell you will be true. The last thing <laughs> I told you was false. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't make me think, President. <laughs> It's like uh, when John Wayne gave that drunk, rambling uh, uh, commencement speech. <laughs> as if those, yeah, goddamn yeah, it. it's goddamn. If if those kids listening to the speech had to base the rest of their lives on it, 
Right. <laughs> well, well, what, what did he mean by uh, somebody shit in an ash can up at the other mother loving university at the boss man? Well, what, what do we do? Should we wash our hands? Do we go to restaurants? <laughs> Definitely wash your hands after you shit in a waste paper basket. I don't know. Uh, maybe the feces will kill off, you know, if you got feces on your fingers. Maybe, uh, <laughs> Protect it. <laughs> you got a shit barrier around yourself? I told the, uh, <laughs> my next door uh -oh. neighbor right here, they're, uh -huh. uh, some ran, they're like a Olympic level athletes, two of them. They competed, for, you know, but uh, I told them, you know, to, where to burn my corpse. I said, when this... <laughs> Just drag it out, you know. I don't know. We're not gonna worry about, uh, you know, who who has the house or whatever. <laughs> so they asked you how you were doing, how your day was going, and you were passing yeah. in the neighborhood. Yeah. And you said you ended up telling them where to burn your corpse. <laughs> he does. He does the Columbo thing. Oh, one, one last thing. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, God. Well, there's a bit. There's a there's a one big. Thing that bothers me. Yeah. There's a there's a storm runoff grate, and I think if you burn <laughs> me right there, and you, can just drag, you don't have. Drag me too far, yeah. You know? It's like a self cleaning yeah. oven, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Andy. yeah I said, if... I, I love that Andy probably didn't mention that his <sighs> wife would probably still be alive and that she, <laughs> she is actually on the deed. I was <laughs> thinking of her, she can't drive, so you know, Andy's. <laughs> and he's thinking about the second miniseries episode of The Stand already. We're not even at the first episode yet, but Andy's already into the second episode where we're burning bodies. Yeah, I, I, I uh, binge watched it while you guys were sleeping. <laughs> I just watched it the last two days. I, I just watched the last eight episodes of the Don Jr. presidencies. <laughs> Those are fucking weird, man. You think his dad was shitty, huh? <laughs> Woo! Uh, yeah. I'm sure there are a lot of fun, uh, uh, dumb brother stories in the Don Jr. presidency. <laughs> well, he's grooming Eric, is what I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I don't. We're getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve years of that. The sister, though, that was the tough part. <laughs> who is Jim, Who is Jimmy's brother? He had that that beard, Billy. belly, Billy. Billy, Billy Carter. Carter. Yeah. At least Billy his Carter. own beer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Billy beer. Billy beer is the only beer left in uh, some uh, stores in Atlanta right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was behind all the toilet paper. <laughs> uh, uh, we, uh, one of the problems is. Uh, these hotels are starting to shut down. Someone told me that the the Win, the entire Win Hotel uh, in Vegas, completely shut down. Yeah. So that's what I was thinking. I'm, it, I'm just getting home from from Boise. <laughs> you know, probably gonna take one night in Jackpot, Nevada. And they're they're come on, they're never shutting that down. That, yeah. That'll have to burn down. <laughs> It's funny. I went to go get uh, to uh, early in the morning. I mean, it, it's kind of, kind of fits with my lifestyle. The fact that I'm going 85 uh, to get to Rite Aid uh, to get to check for rubbing alcohol. But I, I do like, you know, I, I feel like you can just to clean your pipe. Not to make hand sanitizer. Let's exactly. add that in there. Yeah, it's going to get harder I'm to smoke weed. And I'm going to smoke more weed unless I keep my pipes clean. <laughs> but it's just i mean it, my point is it's just driving extremely fast zipping around corners early in the morning has always been kind of my thing and now there's, <laughs> there's less people and less chance of authorities getting involved so i race like i'm fucking dale earnhardt senior on my last ride going to get fucking alcohol it's like turn and it's three. also it's like yeah yeah turn turn three or i get rubbing alcohol <laughs> and then this i went to go ahead Oh, but then I go to a, a place to go get uh, their day olds, and then they, it, it must be what it, racism feels like. As I go in there, and they're like, they step back away from the counter. <laughs> <laughs> and I set the stuff up there, and they have me do everything without making any hand contact. And then when I walk out, they follow me out and wipe the door after I leave, <laughs> and then wipe the outside of the door as I leave. It was like, wow, you motherfuckers. It in fairness, they've actually been doing that for years. You know, just never yeah, noticed. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I did have my dick hanging out of my uh, <laughs> <laughs> loin 
loincloth? <laughs> yeah, my loincloth. <laughs> and, Andy in the new in the new uh, series, uh, healthy like me. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about pot smokers is that they are just fucking horrible about planning ahead. Of all the times, I mean, Chad, you've even been been uh, guilty of this. Of You're like, telling me. <laughs> that's, that's quite exactly. Like, 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 oh, please. No. like please. please. In the past, you guys have been at the fun house, and Kenny does it all the time, but that's on a daily basis. But of like running out of weed, or there's a you know one of the suppliers is is not available. No one goes and gets their card, their their card for whatever reason they don't want to do that. And then there's a it's like there's weed everywhere, and then when it's here, just get a little more. And then now here, even they sell it in this size. This should be two whoa, years. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This two years worth of, of pipe cleaning supplies, and that's if you spill half of it, and you and you guys are out. Well, that's that's usually you can just go to the dollar store and get some whenever you're out. I'm almost out. When you next time you go do it, guys, just do this. Put a line right around here, right? Oh, Write a line right. on there. When it gets to there, just go buy some more, because that's about half a year's worth. Yeah. Oh, well, I've learned a lot from this experience. Uh, uh, I, I'm not saying I'm going to become a prepper, but here's the thing. At a time when the store delivery is not interrupted, you know, everything is running just fine and everybody panic buys and fucks up. Imagine if something really happens to where something happens that you can't, the trucks are, and everything we have at the store is what we have. That shit's gone right now. I told yeah. Jenny, I go, we're going to get a Costco membership. And we're going to go to Costco <laughs> and we're going to buy some shit once a month. On month, uh, what, every month on payday, we're going there and we're going to buy some shit, whether we need it or not. And that way we'll have all the shit they we need. They yeah, got you. Yeah. I think so. I think so. <laughs> the and fucking, I, the I don't even want to live. I don't even want to live in that apocalypse. I don't even know what the fuck I'm trying to prepare for. The whole <laughs> shelf of flour. Was gone. <laughs> yeah. Jenny, no so one knows how to fucking make bread. The whole they will, they're gonna thing. learn YouTube and time. <laughs> Flower. Just think how fucked up the kids are gonna be that spend all this time learning from their parents. You know, their parents are gonna be stuck with them in quarantine and have to educate their own fucking kids. Uh huh. And then, yeah, fucking nightmare. I'm getting good at uh, I'm getting good at really peeling this. Uh, I, that's how when I get low on weed, then I get to where I just like pinch the smallest amount and take these tiny little hits, and then then I'll go look to where I threw <laughs> through ash bowls. <laughs> <laughs> Find if there's little little if they if you can still it, grab it, you can still so burn it. <laughs> you're looking for ground scores at your own house. Oh, I, I'm thinking <laughs> I we I think everybody's gonna be you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, but that that's true. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm just uh, don't. Ha you know, it's like there's not enough weed for this thing. You know, what are you uh, gonna do? I'm gonna this... just sit. It's already fucking hideous. You know, I'm wait. I'm not making any painful uh, admissions till like week three of this thing. <laughs> I, I, I just I showed I you guys my antiquity. little bag of weed. I am not worried at all. Yeah, that was, yeah. That's yeah you guys bit. go. You guys go through this this kind of drought three or four times a year. Uh, There's just no virus attached to it like it is this time. Yeah, after like uh, after a music festival. Yeah, or just <laughs> the guys, uh, a crop doesn't make it through or something. You know, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I remember when I lost a pot dealer, and this was way before the coronavirus. But he he had a bad heart, uh, and he died, and then I was really like, death. you know, I was I, bummed. I, I, but I moved on immediately. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, no. And I mean, you know, it's like uh, the loyalty to it. I was like, well, now where am I going to go? <laughs> and I, it was before stores. So it was like, it took me a, <laughs> it, it took me a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Oh where, oh, oh, where can I find weed? Yeah. In Oregon. <laughs> it took you what? How long to get from shutting your car door to turning on the ignition yeah. to figure out where you could score weed from someone yeah. you didn't know? Yeah, <laughs> all you had to do was physically turn from looking this way to looking this way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that guy. <Dude. laughs> weed, weed store near me. Uh, you're in one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm actually standing in a weed store. I guess this is a weed store. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like, oh, other like, the old, like the old hacky Starbucks joke. You're actually in a weed store that's inside another weed store. <laughs> yeah. Actually, there's a, a Starbucks closer to me, but there's uh, four weed stores closer than the second Starbucks. <laughs> there's, there's a weed store in you right now. That's how well, that's what, yeah, going. that's what I found out when I was back here getting sober. Is I still had weed in me for two weeks. I should have quit bitching. <laughs> I could have, I could have cut the crying yeah. in half and go. No, I'm still actually high, man. I just need to go saw more into this tree. Yeah. Uh. I'm that was a rough couple there. of months. How how many uh, months were you weed free? Uh, I was. Uh, let's see. Three. It was everything free. Right? Well, the three that the three the court ordered plus another one because of the spike in the weed. So I was yeah. <laughs> I was sober. I was sober for about four months. Uh, you know, I I don't have any real perspective on it. You know, I can't turn it into a bunch of sad songs or. Uh, <laughs> even get one novel out of it but uh you it could sucks. at least get an applause break yeah 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 i'll, I'll do a free show for you for my patio I'm, I'm broken i'm broken sober <laughs> which makes it worse as you know if you've ever tried to be broke and sober Ugh. hey chad i noticed you, you were doing the uh, twitch stream again from the funhouse yeah, we did a dart uh, uh, dart night over there because Joby <sighs> set that dart board up. Yeah, is that a normal thing now, weekly? Well, Stanhope and uh, Joby uh, conspired, uh, not weekly, but uh, it'll get in the rotation because we, uh, we usually do it from each other's houses. I, so, I, the reason I'm saying is if it's weekly, uh, give the heads up because I logged on and then tweeted everyone. I haven't got this really cool picture of you like throwing a dart like right at the phone you were broadcasting from yeah and as soon as i hit tweet they like andy hung up the call <laughs> <laughs> the, that was because that picture you got of me throwing like that yeah i had thrown two darts and got triple bullseye i got a double bullseye and a single bullseye closed the game closed the stream it was a good time bingo Probably. hit my phone with darts like <laughs> fucking five times it was funny so that, that is fun. That's at uh, uh, twitch.tv HD fatty. And, uh, oh, slash HD underscore fatty. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's it. That's right. That nice. I think we're going to... Um, I slid I, that I, in there well. I hold, like... on, hold on a second. I, this, this couple onto that. I did talk to Stanhope and uh, did this whole thing, you know, quarantine and all this shit, self-quarantine. Uh, we might be doing some broadcasting from the Funhouse as well. Live stuff. Nice. So, yeah, I don't know how we're gonna do it or what, but and I, Doug doesn't either. So I'm assuming he's waiting for me to get home. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna start doing that. So uh, that's uh, that, we got that. We got that. Uh, I'm in. Not much. Yeah, but the the playing field got crowded all of a sudden. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. No kidding. People are people are tuning out and tuning uh, in the coronavirus podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, laughter, laughter is not the best preparatory medicine. <laughs> preventative. Ah, fuck. I meant preventative. Cut. They were both good. I, I'll have Todd yeah. edit it together for you. <laughs> Make a second go at it. <laughs> he's gotta, all he's we have is uh, all, all we have is time. <laughs> preparatory medicine sounded more accurate anyway yeah. because you're yes. already convinced you're going to get it. So whatever you take is just preparing you to be ill. No, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I, I, I don't feel like I'm ex exposing myself or in a, any danger uh, thing or whatever. But the whole uh, everything fucking collapsing yeah. and martial law business is more of. The concern in the burning lungs. I've, I've, since I was a seventh grader, I've dealt with burning lungs. <laughs> I feel like if I die with burning lungs, it'll be a pretty comforting blanket. <laughs> I'll just be going, it's pretty good shit. It's pretty good shit. <laughs> I've been hoarding for quite a while now, but I, the only thing that I hoard is just ammunition. So that way I'm basically hoarding everything. Like you said, cause you just go and find out who has what. And then now I have it. Yeah, we'll all be right. Vision. We'll be standing right behind you. That's 
That's why I'm Shoot here. Shoot enough for Erickson. everybody. That's why I'm here, Erickson. I got a lot of ammo. Let's say, yeah, hey, <laughs> hey, I, a, a friend I know uh, never owned a gun. Yeah, he's married, and uh, just uh, just asked me, uh, hey, uh, uh, you're up in uh, Boise. Uh, do you mind getting me one of them uh, 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 magazines <laughs> for this one? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're buying a gun? Yeah, my wife. She thinks we should have one. They live in L.A. Uh, wait, so what's wrong with a magazine? They don't sell magazines in California? He goes, not only ones that hold 10 clips. I need seven t- or 10 bullets. I need 17. You didn't have a gun your whole <laughs> life. No, and you now you didn't. can't get enough bullets in one fucking gun? Now, I was at a meeting, and somebody mentioned bump stocks. Do you know um, <laughs> how I could go about getting? I I heard they're banned in some places. That's terrible. Uh. I, <laughs> I rushed to the gun store, and they were out of bump stocks. <laughs> any, any real redneck knows that you can bump fire using just a yeah, sling yeah. and your finger. You don't need a bump stock to bump fire. It sounds it's, uh, it sounds dangerously I, cool though, Chad. I can turn any I can turn any weapon into a fully automatic weapon with a sling and a fucking stiff finger. And I have magazines that hold thirty rounds. <laughs> well, after ten shots, I'm sure he's gonna hold it like this. <laughs> after ten shots. If you're that bad that you don't have time it's, to reload a clip, then you need a bazooka or a flamethrower, motherfucker, because I, I don't know what you're thinking you're, you're going to be shooting at. An elephant? I, I <laughs> can see one to 30 just because you have to load the clip less often. But yeah. uh, if you don't, I agree with you. If you don't hit them in 10, the, the extra seven's not going to help you. Can't you just fire like two shots and then follow that by verbal threats? <laughs> With more to follow if they don't straighten up, you know? Like so the, you old fire, West, they, yeah, the old West, they make couple, you dance. You're a you second fire a couple chance. and say, who's there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're you're yeah. a second chance sort of fella, aren't you? I I don't. To me, if somebody is uh, trying to kill me to the point where I have to pull a gun out on them, uh, I'd rather kill them than uh, wound them or piss them off further, because that's an enemy a, I don't want to have. You're just a two-legged Oscar Petraeus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shooting until that noise stops in the bathroom. <laughs> yes, I'm not engaged anymore. Yeah. <laughs> then I'll see what it was. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of good. It's all like feels like it's going to end because it's like the game is so rigged anyway, and everybody knows the game's rigged. It's like, yeah, I'm done playing anyway. You know, they got all the judges appointed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I can't wait for the, the – do you think this part sucks? Wait until after right now and if, in a month or so when everybody pats themselves on the back for uh, defeating the fucking virus and uh, <laughs> overcoming the uh, – yeah. Well, tr- you know, Trump's going to take t- credit for the uh, the Marshall Parade, <laughs> the, uh, the when the tank <laughs> when the tanks finally roll in. He'll be, yeah, you know, finally, motherfuckers. Finally I told gets you. His parade. <laughs> and then, and then at the end of the school year, you watch. He'll take credit for uh, you know, I bringing the numbers down on school shootings. <laughs> but it's not fair because I feel like there's going to, you know, I think they need to take into account homeschool shootings yeah. now. <laughs> Somebody uh, kills their count? family. Yeah, that's a school shooting. Oh yeah, how do you how do you do that if you're homeschooled? Yeah. Is it a school shooting or is it a well, home shooting? Yeah, I mean Columbine's going to end up the standard because they're just not going to be able to recreate it. They're going to oh, we we probably shouldn't even put everybody in the same space again. <laughs> it feels like we're at the uh, like the prequel to Lord of the Flies, sort of, right? You know? Yeah, it feels weird. It's going to oh, mutate. Day, day one good. on the island. Yeah, it's gonna mutate yeah. and get people who are like fuck it, you know, on down. So it'll just be like teenagers. And they're like, fucking finally. <laughs> I told you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Hey, it's their world if they want it. Fuck it. I'm not gonna use it anyway. I was done yeah. with it anyway. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Although I'm fucking done you. recycling. <laughs> the apocalypse is the only thing that's interesting. That's why I didn't want to get my hopes up on this. Uh, uh, like five years or so ago, they had a big fire here and everything, the whole area where I was got evacuated and I refused to go. So I was. Yeah, what are you, uh, you hosing down your uh, 
your the, house? The, the roof and yeah, the, yeah. the ground. I'd run up on the roof with a hose and hose that and run down on the ground and hose it. <laughs> those smoke billowing in and shit. It was Jesus crazy. Christ. I could hear propane tanks exploding in people's yards. Uh, half a mile away from my house is where the fire stopped. They they stopped the fire. But uh, but well, the, my point that's, is that's kind of how I acted during Y two K. It was a it was a it was like a down the roof. It was down the roof, closing things down. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's well, it was, a zero. It's a zero. It was like a week where there was just nobody around. There were no dogs barking. There were no. I remember you talking about that. There were no any. It was it was like an apocalypse. Everything was dead silent out here. There was no vehicles. There was just no name. Nothing. I'd get up in the morning and my underwear. Climb the ladder up on the roof. Take a piss off the roof while I survey the area and fucking. <laughs> It was, so you got to wait for an apocalypse for that? I lived, I've been, uh, I, I've been uh, in that well, apocalyptic would, behavior for years. Listen, <laughs> you're already labeled a weird neighbor, Andy, whether you know it or not. I am too. That's how I know you are. So uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm trying not to push that envelope too much. Pissing off my roof and my underwear in the morning might be a bit much for the neighbors. I think yeah. it'd be great if, if Chad's like on his roof, if you're if you're pissing and you're like uh, looking at all you survey and then you look over to one side and off in the distance, you see another guy in his underwear <laughs> off the roof and you're like, eh. <laughs> Castle and that's Rock? It. That's the only thing that Fuck no, I would scramble down and put my pants on <laughs> and fucking run over there and kill you that guy. Me. Yeah, you yeah. guys would beat in the what's... middle. Yeah. So angry. I, I gotta How go see. I gotta go see what sort of survival supplies he has, and if he has a better home that's fortified better than me, I might be moving. Okay, how do you guys? All, all communications are cut off. Me and Erickson finally meet up in L.A. and get out. We go to Bisbee and find out you guys got like a the exhaust pipe. Uh, you got a car backed up to the funhouse. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Everybody, everybody backs in. Yeah, yeah, hot box and <laughs> they, they hot box. Oh, Andy, you might have just fucking described a dream, and yeah, I, I didn't know. know. This I'm, is I'm kind of, I'm kind of borrowing from Grandpa Andrus, who did it in 1950. <laughs> he never even had the coronavirus. He was just really upset. <laughs> I used to think that was, I was like, that was a bummer when I heard, you know, heard that story. My dad found him and he, my grandpa sucked fumes down and, uh, and, uh, thinking, uh, you know, he died too soon or it was horrible. And now that I'm past that age, like, man, he was patient. <laughs> I don't know, you know, <laughs> patient or lucky. One of the two. <laughs> uh, fuck. It's a perfect time. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. He came to the realization that uh, I'm not waiting around for the toilet paper lines. Now, granted, he didn't have to face it in his lifetime. But... Well, they had just invented it probably back then. <laughs> <laughs> he could have been a holdout. Yeah, that's why you didn't hear about eating ass back in them, in them rumble seats. <laughs> <laughs> And there's just too much, too much jumping around with the <laughs> suspensions and all. But uh... that's what they used to call it. Wait, I don't think you're doing it while driving. <laughs> well, not from yeah, the that's, that's... you're not. <laughs> it depends on how how much uh, how much into the fox trot you were or whatever. I don't know. I thought that might work, but it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm looking at my hanging tree and I'm like, <laughs> I'll be seeing you <laughs> next time I go to Costco. I'm probably going to get motivation to come what? out here and be, I just need to Wait. find the right step stool. Maybe you're, good you're, Andy, are you telling me that your hanging tree is right off the deck of your Airbnb? <laughs> yeah, but it's it's it's. it's it's facing the neighbors out of respect to the guest. How does a tree face the neighbors? <laughs> a, a tree is 360, Andy. 
Oh, well, the hang, the hanging, the hanging. All the nooses the are side. on the north side. Yeah, so I can hang polite. out. Yeah, I can hang it. I can, and I don't like to use this term. It's not hateful, but this guy come down and yelled to me about dog noise, and it wasn't even my dog. But uh, uh, you know, if the if if that old fag's out there jacking off and sees me hanging from a tree, it'll probably be the first orgasm he's had in years. Yeah, fuck you, Bill, if you're listening. <laughs> Shut your own fucking dog up. He was yelling at me about the dog, but what I didn't tell him, it was my chickens that was upsetting the dog. But anyway, get off my property, Bill, you fag. Wait, that's not a defense. <laughs> They're both your animals. No, no, the dog was not. The dog was the neighbor's, but my chickens would upset it. Oh, okay, all right. This guy come down, and I see him up there with his lady what? friends or whatever. There weren't ladies. I what mean, you know. The, what were the chickens chicken? doing to the upset chicken, the dog? Well, they were just walking just around. Being chickens? Well, what they were... I, now I'm finding out I'm more upset about it than I, I, you know, I was at the time. The dog had good right. They were just burying sticks in the mud and shit that when I try to rake, I have to go, what the fuck? Find a stick that's about, a, you know, it's just buried shit. That's what they did. Nothing useful. You know, I didn't mean to upset Bill, but, you know, you don't come down there all red faced and yell at somebody in their property. About <laughs> he was he's the guy he, he yells, hey, shut the fuck up. A lot. Yeah. Andy, that guy. Andy yeah. I have to tell you, I think you are the worst <laughs> fucking chicken owner in the history of fucking chicken owners. Well, it all, it all ends the same way for him. Well, yeah. <laughs> Did I mean, you get any eggs? No, not only yeah, that. No, I lost I got all my sticks. It turns out these all chickens, all they did was too. bury sticks. I got no way of proving it's them. And there's really no, there's nothing to prove, or there's nothing to say in the behavior of a chicken. Why, Eddie, when they're scratching, they're scratching for food. They're not trying to bury a stick to fucking torment you. Well, they should have been patient because I feed them in the morning and I feed them at night and I don't scatter the food around in the yard. So shame on them, you know. They should have uh, been patient. It's a different animal than a dog. They have a different a, nature. Here's a, here's a real question because I'm sur in the South Eugene Hills surrounded by wild turkeys and they they're everywhere and they shit all over stuff and my dog eats that shit and i don't know how to feel about it is that a good treat is that a reward you know <laughs> does she still get something when she comes in uh i don't know but how come there's not uh, bands of chickens running around there are wild chickens no. yeah you ever been to louisiana there's two there's too many predators, and chickens are too easy yeah. to catch. Turkeys well, are a yeah. little more badass. But, but ah. chickens do chickens do roam. I mean, there are. Okay. I mean, we were. When, God damn it, where were we? We were somewhere recently, and it, there, there. Oh, it was in Key West. There's chickens running all over the place out there. Well, I mean, until a dog gets them, because a chicken is really just a yeah, living dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like we had, uh, how come there's not more baby sheep running around? Well, my, <laughs> I get it. It doesn't when, make sense to me. When, when, my, when my kids were little, one Easter, there should be my, baby sheep everywhere. Well, yeah, when they, <laughs> the bunny rabbits would be cute out here. But the coyotes so, are such rough doggies. <laughs> when, I, when my when my kids were little, they had my mom got them all like a colored chick for Easter one year. Oh, just a yeah. baby easy, chick. easy. You <laughs> already dropped that Chinese <laughs> virus. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, we don't have sponsors. We can say whatever we want. God damn it. So yeah, but <laughs> SNL's going to be losing cast members out there in New York. <laughs> so, so we have these little baby chicks, but we live in town at that time, and so these. Little chicks grow up, and it turns out they're all four of them were roosters. Oh, yeah. And so they start fucking crowing, and I'm like, we're not allowed to have chickens in the fucking city limits, much less roosters that are fucking four of them crowing every morning. So I told Jay, we got to get rid of them. So what do you do? So I posted a thing, which I knew was pointless, but I had to do it. So I posted a thing and took it to the feed store. Here, I have four roosters for free. Well, nobody wants them. Nobody, people kill their roosters. Nobody yeah. wants a rooster. They don't lay eggs, and they're mean. They're, they're not good uh, eating either. No so, cockfighting? You didn't even think of cockfighting? <laughs> you already got a whole league. <laughs> yeah, you got, <laughs> you, you got two separate teams, right? You just, it's you just need, blue you just versus pink more. tonight. <laughs> you just put a mask on coaches. the yeah, put a mask on one of them, make it a little intrigue. <laughs> El, um, El mystery chicken. That would have been a bad influence <laughs> on the kids, maybe, there. <laughs> 
So I, I convinced uh, Jenny and the kids that there were free range chickens and that we would just take them down to the river and let them go. And then they would just live down at the river with all the other free range chickens that nobody ever sees. <laughs> so I had them convinced of this until one day I was about to take them down there. And Jenny goes, wait, won't coyotes just get them? And I was like, fuck. Yes. Almost. 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 The river. Almost. I don't know what to do. They'll probably drown before they. Uh... <laughs> yeah, they got to get out of the river first. <laughs> and that sack. Yeah, I guess those uh, raccoons I let loose at Costco could be considered free range with a little interruption, you know. <laughs> Is it the same story, Andy? You went to the uh, the pet store and you bought a couple of baby raccoons that were dyed oh. purple. <laughs> mm-hmm. no. <laughs> no, these came to, these came to me. <laughs> I'm here. I didn't I just, want them. Uh, yeah, it's like crabbing when you don't throw a crab ring. The raccoons <laughs> just showed up. <laughs> I was surprised when it was in my trap the first time. I was like, no shit. I actually, because I'd, ne- I'd never been hunting or anything, you know. I mean, I was with my folks when we put a dog down, but that's not really hunting. That's not, that's, <laughs> I think that's the opposite of hunting. <laughs> that's a different experience altogether. <laughs> well, no, kind of, yeah, no, because our dog, it was my dog, Bob. And he was a classic. He he was a he, he was like a kind of like a, a mix of things, but looked like Lassie. And then Bob disappeared. And then my mom said, "Well, or no, it was my dad." He said he probably went off to go and die somewhere. And sure <laughs> enough, I guess that's what that's happened. That's reassuring, Dad. Yeah, Thanks. yeah. And then I played God and went and looked for Bob, and I found him in a place where Bob never was before. <laughs> and it seemed like Bob had given up and didn't want to be around us and wanted to die without, you know, being around the family at all. Which, you know, it seemed wrong Makes to me. Sense. So I dragged him out by his feet, and uh, we took him. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't want to be here. Yeah, we took he's Bob usually, on a... He's Bob. He usually comes when I call, and he yeah. always wants to go on a walk. Yeah, Lazy so we, we, dra- we dragged Bob off to a vet, and uh, we put Bob down. And then uh, this was led up to why I quit football. Uh, uh, my dog died, and, and uh, he... He was beloved by about four of my friends, and they were decided to wear black tape and honor my dog on the back of our football helmets. We were playing South Umqua. They were uh, out of our league in more than one way. And uh, they, uh, uh, that uh, four friends put black tape on their helmet. And then this uh, other friend, Tim Counts, uh, started handing the tape out. And people just put it on the back of their helmet. It was popular to put tribute black tape on your helmets at the time. So it was like, who? And nobody gave a fuck. They just, Bob died, and they put black tape on their helmet. And we... <laughs> We got beat 52 to nothing by uh, uh, South Umqua and Coach Big Swinging Dick in the shower. Uh, uh, he, uh, he, in, the, in the meeting after the beating or whatever it was, Monday, he, he lit into me and said, uh, you know, we went, uh, somebody's fucking goddamn dog died. You know, totally disrespected Bob. <laughs> he blamed it on the dog. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he <laughs> totally, Not yeah, coaching. Uh, yeah, Coach Big Dick. Uh, horse dick scapegoated my dog uh, for uh, South Umqua, and I can't think of their team name, beating the Red Devils. They, they outweighed us by a man by about 50 pounds, but it was my fucking dog, my fucking dog that cost us victory. And he, and then he, and then uh, he yelled at me. And then I was a senior, and you never get cut from the traveling squad as a senior, especially yeah. when you're, you know, you're starting, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I was sharing the spot with Neil Daniels at the time, but uh, if Neil fucked up, which was sure to happen, I was going to get another <laughs> shot. Because Neil couldn't cover a fucking piece of toast with butter. <laughs> I thought I was doing speed and had trouble in one game. Okay, the fifty-two. To- <laughs> my dog. My dog down. and morning. <laughs> cost us maybe 14 points but we lost by <laughs> a lot more than 14 and uh and then uh, so then i uh t- so i got cut from the traveling team and i took my gear 
And there's a the coach would wait, stand wait, wait, behind wait. after after you lost fifty two to nothing. He cut you from the team after no, that. Well, on the next, I didn't get cut from the team. It was like a one on one with Robbie Benson. I was going to have to go through. <laughs> have to he go had through to some share. Stuff. He had to share a position with uh, that other the other dude. Well, Neil was... Daniels replaced yeah, me Neil because Daniels. I got burned a couple times. Like the coach would yell at me, and I was inattentive anyway. And I go what. <laughs> Go like cover your guy. Well, fuck it. Quit talking to me. I'm trying to cover my, you know, better, better, stronger athletes, better coach. Yeah. We're always gonna he's shine. He's those... yelling at Andy while the play's going on. Yeah, yeah. Spike Perry. Fuck you, Spike. You know, uh, you weren't even a paid coach at the time. You know. Oh, he uh, got paid. But he, uh, yeah. So Coach Clem was behind the uh, gate. I saw that I was cut from the traveling team, and then you know how you you could carry your football helmet in your shoulder pads, and then the the jersey and all that stuff. Well, I got it all packaged up nicely, and then I I quit, and I quit in the bravest possible way. I uh, waited till Coach Big Swing and Dick was behind the gate, like Danny DeVito in Taxi, but there was enough. <laughs> and I said, I quit, and to emphasize it, I threw my gear at him and hit him. And he had a temper anyway, and uh, if you know, he could have done a like he liked to run up the middle. But it was not possible. He had to run a slant to get to me. So by the time he ran the slant, I was already out in my car smoking weed. <laughs> I I fucking quit, and then I threw the gear and hit him, and then that was uh that was you know, <clears throat> I was done. <laughs> wasn't that your gear? Yeah, I threw my gear in because I wasn't. Did you pay for that gear? No, 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 you no. Don't pay for it. No, no, no you, you don't? don't pay for your high no. school. No, no, it's theirs. It's the schools. <laughs> Yeah. And, and then I was like, man, I, I, that's when I realized I should have quit way long ago. You know, it was like, <laughs> what's the easiest and best decision I ever made as far as <laughs> high school athletics, you know, go through them workouts and them tryouts and worry about, you know, getting playing time, but quitting took care of all of that. <laughs> so... It's like, you just took a an eraser to all of your problems and, and wiped the slate clean. It's like, but, wow, I could invent it. How, how are you going to learn all of life's lessons that you can only learn on the gridiron? Well, it turns out I got your yeah, father like coach. 11 years of the gridiron was all the lessons I learned, and, and I still got dry humped at the dances just fine. <laughs> I thought I thought they were dry humping me because my uniform was dirty. <laughs> well, number eighty-four. Turns out they've been molested by their parents. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Cindy. Uh, it was Eddie. a whole new whole new meeting. The game used. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's wearing his outfit, his 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 uniform to the dances. Here's a trick. Here's a trick I had before I got cut from the team when I was replaced by Neil Daniels, who really sucked. I mean, I think, I mean, neither of us were good, but I, he sucked a little more. <laughs> and his friend was the one he's who still sold angry me. about this. I'm Neil, mad about this because are... I'm I'm mad about this because his friend Neil's friend was selling fake speed at the time, and I got kicked. I, one of the things was I was in, involved with that. I was, thought I was on speed, and it turns out there were caffeine pills. So, And then I get replaced by a guy who's friends with the drug dealer, so it's sort of shitty. Uh, <laughs> but, but I had this trick in football when I wasn't playing. It turns out if you really hustle on in warm-ups, you get your uniform all fucking dirty. Yeah, mud all over you and shit. About third quarter, third quarter, you... <laughs> you, you, you drop that rain jacket and you walk around all pissed off. <laughs> Called working the crowd a little bit. You're working the crowd, and the chick's like, "Man!" And then they talk to you later, like, "You were really upset in the third quarter." Because <laughs> I, I didn't tell them this because I wasn't getting into the fucking game. And they... <laughs> But yeah, you just lay out, you know, in the warm ups. It's it's your game, you know. Hustle for that. Lay out lay out for that that ball your quarterback overthrew you five yards and get yeah. muddy because it looks like you're a fucking scrapper. I love that you're getting angry at fifty two to nothing in the third quarter. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I, what I liked about football, and especially like my junior year, I never got to play, was just we were losers and just watching it. I didn't have, you know, I really could give a fuck. I mean, team team spirit was like Christianity. It just eluded me, you know. I was right in the middle of it, and it just didn't speak to my heart or whatever, and we were losers. So it was like, I, I like playing sports or whatever, but I was like, I don't give a fuck about the outcome of this shit, especially if I'm not playing or whatever. I'm not rooting the other guys on. But, man, was, you know, it was like watching people. People nowadays line up for toilet paper. I don't get all the hustle, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm only going to give a fuck if I catch a pass in this one. <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't, you know, but I did team sports. Uh, I know you did Erickson, right? You need to play football. I, I quit after sophomore year. Of Isn't it great? <laughs> yeah, Quitting? it was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Shane, yeah I hated it. I, I played baseball and then I wrestled until junior year. Mm-hmm. See, we didn't even have that. We didn't have wrestling. We didn't have baseball. Our school was so small that the uh, junior varsity football players that were in the band had to play in the band at halftime in their <laughs> football. <laughs> no break. <laughs> the trumpet player couldn't even eat an orange slice. <laughs> and the cheerleaders had to play center. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's like wait a minute why is the fucking trombone player covered in mud he hasn't been in the game <laughs> he's so he's he's so mad. Mad. <laughs> he, laid, he really laid out on that solo <laughs> yeah like, oh, like my, you know the coquio red devils and we we sucked ass and, and our coach I, i'll just call him swinging dick because i think he he just had a anyway. I don't want the family, his family's friends, and my anyway. Fuck him and and big swinging dick. But he was a terrible coach. He we would have like these runny motherfuckers, like a hundred and sixty pound offensive lineman, and we'd have like this big running back. And he thought those guys would block. And he thought that that was a we sucked. And I liked that we sucked. <laughs> and uh, and and I rooted against them. I not only was I not a good team player, I rooted against our team. Like I would actively hope we would lose so by a lot. So I could get playing time. So, so Andy, <laughs> let me get this straight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it seems like the coach was a good coach. No, we lost every you game. You hated being on the team and you rooted against it. Are you saying I was a clubhouse cancer that affected the starter? <laughs> My shitty saying, attitude did not affect the guys who played. Oh, you don't think so? But no, I was like their water boy. They didn't give a fuck. Especially Uh-oh. when I was... When I was a junior and a sophomore, they, you know, they, they, well, I played JV, I guess. I can't even remember the JV experience. I remember not playing varsity as a JV, uh, <laughs> but I think we I played like some glorified scrimmage games or like JV had yeah. half the number of games and then the sophomores. Yeah. So I had two, two years of standing on the sideline. And then I had a, a, a brief stint where I outshined Neil in practices and, uh, <laughs> and then I got benched. On uh, I got torched. On a couple of times. I got yelled at about the fake speed on a road trip. Uh, and he, and any, I, I remember him saying, "I'm sure it was one of, it was probably goddamned Andrus." And then he said some others. Uh, and uh, and at the time, at the time, I felt like he's fucking right. You know, he's fucking right. I'm on speed. I got burnt. I couldn't cover my guy. I'm a piece of shit. Now it turns out I just had a cup of coffee. <laughs> he's a shit, you know? it wasn't me at all. You know, it took twenty some years to realize I was just on caffeine tablets. I wasn't on meth or speed or whatever at the time. So you know, those black beauties were inexpensive for a reason because and david dalton sold them and said they were speed and i had no reason to doubt him he was fat and sweating profusely so <laughs> you know. uh, yeah no, I, I we were i remember our coach uh, my my junior year saying gentlemen we were we were two and seven last year, and by God, we will not be two and seven again and there was like, it got a lot of yeah, it got we a lot of the nine. Yeah, I got a lot of the <laughs> the, the stooges or uh, the rubes. All the rubes fired up. Joe Fuller, Arr! Tom, we, you know, we worked our ass off. You know, that was a tough summer, you know, because we didn't want to be two and seven again. And that was the year I quit. Uh, we were one and eight. You know, well, they were. I was, oh, 
I was 0 and 3. <laughs> hey Andy, after you quit the team, did they actually get that one win? Yeah. Yeah, they got a yeah. they got a win, but it was an expect, you know. Who cares? Myrtle Point, you know. It was, like a, <laughs> a, it was a rollover game, you know. Those guys we we kicked their ass at the fair, you know. We didn't uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we that was so probably bad. the homecoming game. Myrtle Point was the homecoming game for everybody, right? Well, here it was. I got I I got blown. Uh, I got oral love by a, a lady who was dating a football player, uh, and so you and, felt like you were on the team. Well, I got my dick sucked homecoming <laughs> by uh, a cheerleader who was uh, was uh, dating a football player. So. I guess sort of still had some team camaraderie. <laughs> she sure wasn't blowing one. Well, she didn't either. I mean, it was, you know. <laughs> it's the second worst blowjob I ever received. And the, 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 worst, the worst was by a man in my sleep. So, you know. <laughs> but still, I felt good about it. Like, you know, fuck him, you know. Fuck that, guy. Fuck that team player, you know. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Yeah. All right. Is that a podcast? I think that's a podcast. I think so. Oh my All god. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Snake. Got any uh, dates coming up there? He froze. He's frozen. He's frozen. Yeah, he's. They got him. They finally got him. All right. That was it. Yeah, uh, we're we'll on just, the grate uh, right now. <laughs> we'll just keep doing this. How's how's that? That's yeah. perfect. Shaylee, when are you uh, when are you uh, leaving Boise? Well, that's the thing. We're uh, we're in kind of crisis Did- mode because of no uh, convention. We're trying to figure out how to put everything online. So instead of being at the convention, I'm learning how to video edit to put all of the uh, merchandise up online on YouTube. So you that's might be why, there for a while. Well, that's why it's like to have a hard out on Saturday to get down to LA wasn't working. And then all of a sudden, everything that was happening. So yeah. uh, I don't know. I'm hoping to get home by the 25th, uh, which is Stanhope's birthday. Uh, I got to get some podcasts. I got I got me fucking being drunk. That's the next two one. And I, <laughs> I, can't, I can barely get through listening to them. And I, I don't want to torture everyone by having it be Shaley drunk four weeks in a row. But I got nothing. So uh, <laughs> I got to get home to podcast and okay. uh, Doug's, Doug's, uh, Doug's shows have been rescheduled. Just uh, get on uh, DougStanhope.com and check it out there. And if those dates, if we go by those dates, they'll be rescheduled again. Uh, we don't, we don't cancel. So just postponed. Is yeah. Doug home yet? Is he... He, he had to leave his hotel. They, they shut down the hotel yeah. he was in this morning. So uh, he's on his way there. Uh-huh. Uh, Planes are still flying. I don't. I don't know what's going on with that. It seems like that'd be the worst place to be. Yeah. yeah. But, huh. Uh, Stanhope seems like like between him and Donald Trump, have neither of those guys got it? <laughs> you know, because like Doug's been in every hot spot pretty much. He didn't fly yeah. over to China recently, but other than that, yeah. Uh, but Trump doesn't show any signs of that shit neither, and it's like, how could that be? There's no justice. Hey yeah. Shaley, are you guys making coronavirus masks yet, or are you gonna wait till next year? We we <laughs> have them. We use you them do? in the shop. We don't need to make them. We use. Oh, I know. Them. Oh no, but I mean the, uh, I mean, people, the purple he dot. Means people who have <laughs> had coronavirus and are now dead. No, no, they have those. You, you've you seen soon. them. Right? Yeah, We're in yeah. it. <laughs> I know. We don't even know what they look like. <laughs> yeah. Did they call it the Black Plague during the Black Plague, or was it later? <laughs> uh, good question, right? Yeah, that is a good question, Andy. No, something well, to work on for next time. I guess I could research it. Uh, we'll give out an Issues with Andy t-shirt to anybody who comes up with the correct answer to that question. <laughs> or survives the apocalypse. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, gentlemen. Speaking of t-shirts, we'll if uh, you want a t-shirt that looks just like the one Andy Andrus is wearing, go over to uh, the DougStanhope.com store. And uh, Chaley's got some Look other cool that. stuff there, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you know what I was thinking when I got a haircut it was like I, I don't. My hair looked it was you know it's a couple months since I had a haircut and I was like if I get the coronavirus and I'm dying I'm gonna have a little easier you know way to tussle my hair or whatever you know <laughs> but this would be a great t-shirt you went in and asked for the death cut <laughs> no, I was like what do you want done with your hair 
Well, I want whatever the last haircut is. What's the last one? Yeah, what yeah, would a mortuary the, guy just, want me to have? But I was just thinking, you know, this would be a cool T-shirt to have on when you're getting wheeled into the hospital, and they're like, oh, "I wonder who that dude is." Oh, I'll tell. Like, like, you try to tell him, but you sound like Chewbacca. I think it's Chewbacca. It's Chewbacca. I'm sorry, is, I'm choking in my own fluid. Why is Jesus so pissed? Why wouldn't he be? You know. <laughs> if he heard what my wife was talking about with the mother Jehovah's Witnesses, let alone all this other shit, uh, it doesn't seem like they witnessed anything. He, yeah, he'd be like, "Man, why are they dissing me? What's up with the, What's up with all the haters?" You know. See, that's one uh, thing to remember about Jesus is he was around before Twitter, so he he was just oversensitive. <laughs> that's the thing about it. <laughs> he'd uh, the haters had to find him and tell him in person. <laughs> oh, they did. <laughs> now, I don't uh, even need to do this. I'm just doing it to toast you guys. Yeah, Cheers, pe- guys. Oh, is that rubbing alcohol? No, with my uh, my it's, it's, homemade it's, uh, sanitizer. Oh, how much, pour your how much pour your drippings in it. Could, could you pour your drippings in a, a Ziploc and send it to me? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's uh it's two to one erickson two parts yeah. uh 99 isopropyl to one part uh, aloe vera gel or uh don't gel. tell him the recipe <laughs> we'll we'll have quite a, i'm in we a hot have, zone i need it we have quite a one. bit of hand sanitizer i'm gonna try to clean my pipe with hand sanitizer <laughs> it should go both ways i would say yeah. i did think about what to uh, take to load up in my car if i did go to la but i one of the first things was my aluminum baseball bat (laughs) i'm gonna have to pump gas at some point (laughs) (laughs) i can see you at the gas pump just with your fucking bat on your shoulder just eyeballing everybody looking around no 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 you keep it up your sleeve oh it's a yeah you don't want to tip them off. You're violent. Oh, you I thought you were trying to. It. I thought you were letting them know you were no one to be trifled with. Yeah, so they that's why stay I, I wouldn't wear a Chad Shank shirt on that trip. I would like, you know, maybe a Rainbow Gathering T-shirt <laughs> or a Bob Marley or something, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, because they don't expect to get bludgeoned when somebody's wearing a. <laughs> I read today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ask me about uh, my kid on the honor roll. All right, guys, I got to get out of here, man. All right, see you guys. All right, guys, I had fun. Yeah.